This is Mr. Martin. These are uh, video notes for geometry. We're going to be talking about the triangle sum theorem and the exterior angle theorem. Uh, the triangle angle, triangle angle sum theorem uh, should be uh, something that we're familiar with. Uh, we discussed it before. So we'll just review that. The sum of the measures of the angles of a triangle is 180. So if I take the measure of angle A and the measure of angle B and the measure of angle C and I add all those up, I will get 180 degrees. So that we know, just a little review. Now for the exterior angle theorem, let's look at a little bit of uh, vocabulary here. This angle here is an exterior angle. Do you notice it's outside the triangle? So we extend, here's the side of the triangle, we extend it, we make it longer, and then we form an angle on the outside, and we get an exterior angle. We could make this angle, this exterior angle, anywhere in the triangle by extending any side. We just did it over here to get one. So that's one of the exterior angles for this triangle. And then these are interior angles. But you notice that both of these are not next to or adjacent to or they don't form a linear pair with angle 1. So we call these, there's a bunch of different names, we'll just call them non-adjacent interior angles. So this one and this one. We have three interior angles. This one over here is not labeled. We could label it four. Let's do that. Let's label it four. Okay. This would be an adjacent interior angle. These are non-adjacent interior angles. Sometimes we call them remote interior angles, like the remote parking at a airport is very far away. These two are far away from that exterior angle. So we're not going to go into the algebra in this video, but the, there's a relationship between these two non-adjacent interior angles and this exterior angle. And the relationship is that this angle, this exterior angle out here, angle 1, is going to be equal to the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3. So we say the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two non-adjacent interior angles. So 1 is equal to 2 plus 3. So let's go ahead and um, look at some examples here. And at any time, if you want to pause the video and see if you can uh, figure these out, we're going to do together in this video 1. 2, 4, and 6. Okay, and then we'll do a couple more in these uh, notes uh, in some other videos, and then you're going to have to finish out the rest of it for your assignment. All right, so for number 1, we see the we have three angles of a triangle, and we only have to find one, and we know that all of them add up to 180. So angle 1 plus 24 plus 37 is going to equal 180. So um, angle 1 plus, that's going to be 61, is 180. We'll subtract 61 from both sides. And we get that angle 1 is... 119 degrees. Okay, remember, pause the video at any time you need to and uh, get help or get caught up with the notes that I'm writing down. Um, okay, so the three angles of this triangle add up to 180. That's our triangle sum theorem. All right, next, number two. We have an exterior angle, we have the non-adjacent interior angles, or the remote interior angles, and we know that the 
exterior angle, that's measure of angle 1, is going to be equal to the sum of the other two angles. So in this case, there's really nothing to solve. We just have to um, add these two together. And when we add 76 and 52, we get 128 degrees. All right, and then you'll go ahead and try um, number three on your own after we're done with the video. So let's move on to number four. I know sometimes these pictures are going to look a little intimidating, but you just want to pick it apart a little bit at a time. So let's take a look and see what we have. I have a skinny triangle on the left. I have a, an obtuse triangle here, otherwise known as an acute triangle. We have an obtuse triangle over here on the right. And I can see in this acute triangle, I know two of the angles. And I know that in a triangle, the three angles have to add up to 180, so why don't we start there? So I know that angle 1 plus 66 plus 84 is going to equal 180. So angle 1 plus 66 and 84 gives me 150. is equal to 180. So we'll subtract 150 from both sides. I'll just write my answer on the line there for angle 1. That should be at 80. And we get that angle 1 is 30 degrees. Now, when I'm solving for lots of different uh, pieces in a diagram, once I find those, I like to put them in the picture because then that gives me a visual of what I have now. All right, so that gives me 30 degrees. Now in the other triangle, I only know one of the angles. I only know this 43. I don't know 2 and I don't know 3. But I see here that these two angles form a linear pair. Let's write that in there. Linear pair. And we know that linear pairs are supplementary. They add up to 180. So I know that angle 3 is going to be 180 minus 84. So that's going to give me 96 degrees. Okay, so this one is going to be 96 degrees. All right, and you notice... I'm not solving these in order, I'm just solving them as I can in the picture. All right, and then the last one I need is angle 2. So now, if I look at this triangle here, I know this angle is 43, and I just figured out that angle 3 was 96, so I know the thir these three angles have to add up to 180. So I know that angle 2 plus 43 plus 96 has to equal 180. So angle 2 plus, uh, that's uh, 139. And we'll subtract 139 for both sides. And we'll just write the answer in the line. So that should give us that uh, angle 2 is 41 degrees. Okay, so don't get scared by the picture. Um, just pick it apart a little bit at a time. Find what you can find, uh, and then once you find something, keep going. Um, and as always, make sure that you're getting help uh, as you go. All right, number six. Again, a little bit more complicated picture. <clears throat> Let's take a look and see what we have. I have this triangle up here where I know two of the angle, so I can find the third one because I know those have to add up to 180. I also have this pair of angles, and if you remember, these are vertical angles. Okay, and we really like vertical angles because um, they're congruent. So right away, before I do anything, I could write that angle 2 is 
61 degrees because that's a pair of vertical angles. So let's put that in the picture. And now once I have that, I can see that in the second triangle, I also have two angles. This is 90 degrees and that's 61 degrees. So I just have to find angle three. So let's go ahead and figure everything out here. Let's start with the top triangle, angle one plus 61 plus 68 equals 180. Angle 1 plus 129 equals 180. And we'll subtract 129 from both sides, and we should get that angle 1 is 51 degrees. Subtract 129, subtract 129, and then I just wrote my answer on the line. All right, then... For the bottom triangle, since I found out that angle 2 was 61 degrees, I have 90 plus 61 plus angle 3 equals 180. So that's 151 plus angle 3 equals 180. We'll subtract 151 from both sides. Again, I'll just write my answer on the line here. So angle 3 uh, is 29 degrees. Okay, so again, just look over the picture, see whatever you can figure out, and then start there. And once you put that into your picture, see what that helps you to solve as well. All right, so that's it for this video. Uh, make sure you get all your questions answered, and we'll see you next time.